Good morning, good morning, it's Jilly Cube here from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm doing another little test today on some products that I've been sent by Capriol Shabby Chic. So I'm going to test them out. I'm not sure what works best with these, but these are folk art, folk art colour shift paints. So they're trusted quality, blah blah, colour shift paint. So I'd imagine it's they work like how they say they're sort of, you know, uh, different lights will give you different shimmery effects. Is that a word? Yeah, shimmery effect. So I'm going to try these folk art colour shift paints today. Um, I have also been sent some of the Dragonfly Glaze, so I will be running a um, a test on these, I suppose, you know, running to see how they go, doing an experiment on them, so the Dragonfly Glaze. Not 100% sure what they're best used for, um, but obviously they've got this lovely uh, effect that when they're you know different lights they change color so that will be interesting another interesting thing I'm not sure if anybody knows a better way than this to um, use them but I'm going to mix them uh, with Floetrol I'm not sure if they are supposed to be mixed with something else so I'm going to I suppose it's got a lid in there that's I'm going to mix them just with Floetrol and see um, what I get. I think I will do like a little swipe on one and maybe I'll do a um, a cut pour on another. So, okay. That little bit in there. So this one is, gosh, I mean, red flush. Yeah, I have a lot of those red flushes. I'll just pushing in the top with the skewer so these are very nice delicate little paint um, bottles aren't they considering I normally get out the big two litre get out the big guns my two litre containers so what was that colour that one is pink flush, okay, red flush, pink flush, so this must be violet flush. Violet flush, oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> never usually uh, write when those things happen. Okay, I will, orange flush, okay, so I'm flushing all over the place. Yes, I'm still hot babe, but it just comes in flushes now. Or I tell my husband so I won't or maybe I will use this green flush might not use them all in this one particular painting but I'll try so I've just put about maybe there's a centimeter in the bottom of my cup centimeter of paint I'm gonna use the black as a swipe color black flush so I have a black flush Okay, these I would guess are available on the Capriol Shabby Chic's website. I oh, that look, kind of looks brown coming out, so it says black flush. So I'll put those flushes aside. Yes, I, I guess they will be available on the Capriol Shabby Chic website. Um, I'm not sure if you're in America or um <coughs> Europe <coughs> oh dear kind of that black looks very like a gunmetal actually it's kind of got a different color in it yeah so I, I'm presuming that you can probably get them in America too because I've seen a few people mention them they also they sent me well they sent me this little, I've got a big version of this here that I have hanging up off my table. I know that lots of people ask me about 
uh, color mixing or matching colors and this little color dial helps you if you want to especially if you want to do some custom colors so you start with yellow and what will it do if you add blue so it will show you then like the orange if you add yellow it will give you the colors and you can turn it around and see what color you can make out of there's the yellow green add more yellow it kind of comes like this uh, apple green and so forth so these color little color um, dials are very useful like I said I've got the much bigger version of this but for people that have want to have a go at mixing colors that's perfect for it what's on the other side okay how to use okay and another thing that I'm so happy that have come out with Montmartre's canvas hanger pack so these little hooks you put on the side of either cat you put on those little fitments with the screw that you have available one goes in one side one goes in the other um, and then you put your piece of hanging wire or some kind of thing to hang it on so that's they're great and I know that they're all available now so Montmartre got all these wonderful little product products coming out all the time which is really exciting for me as a paint pourer that different things are coming out all the time so without further ado 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 let's see if I can get these gloves on these ones that I had on yesterday but I'm trying to um, trying to recycle and keep using as much as I can keep reusing until I can't reuse it till it just dies so there you go I've used those gloves now these are the third painting so that's good I've got my this is Australian Floetrol and Floetrol is basically just a paint extender and a paint conditioner it isn't a traditional pouring medium but it is used as such basically so I'm going to try these little color shift paints with the flow troll I have no idea if there is a special pouring medium that goes with these that anyone can tell me if they know differently so I'm just doing like 50 50 or maybe a little bit more flow troll I'll give it um, a stir and see what kind of consistency they come out at be interesting if these actually do the little um kind of bloom bloom technique that everybody's into at the moment i suppose i can just give that a little try on the canvas there so i'm not adding any um i'm not adding any silicone to these paints at all because when you're using Floetrol, Floetrol creates cells without silicon, just a different kind of cell. Um, when I've used Floetrol, it's more lay, it kind of is more lacing than actual definite cells that you would get from the um, glue, glue and water pouring medium. So I guess that these will really need a good mix up. So I'll just come back to them, give them all a good mix, mix them really, really well. And I'm not sure if it would benefit from mixing these and then leaving uh, to use like overnight or something, cover and leaving them as I found with my acrylics. When I make them up, I always leave them overnight and I just get better results the next day. So that will be interesting to see. Okay, we are all mixed up now. I have mixed them all up um, as best I can. Like I said, I'm not sure if they would work better if left overnight. Don't ask me why, but I decided to add one drop of this uh, Jo Sonia's gloss varnish. Uh, it, I have no idea why, but I just seen it there and thought, oh, wonder if I put a drop of the varnish in, whether it would make it add to the gloss shine of the finished product because um, Floetrol can make things dull down they dry clear but it can often make them dull so I thought 
I don't know. I don't know why I do these weird and wonderful things. So I just thought add a bit of so so Johnny's John Joe Sonia's gloss varnish. She's a polyurethane water-based varnish that um, I've used in um, some of my painting. Okay, so the what I'm going to do is I've got a cup made up of this is just the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics white, and I have mixed it with Floetrol the same. So I've just done the Montmartre Studio Brilliant White with Floetrol. So I'm going to, for a start, I'm going to coat my canvas. Um, let's see how we go with that. I'm just going to coat the canvas. For this particular little one, I'm going to do swipes. So I'll just coat my canvas. For these... Um, Experiment, experiment, art lab day, should I call it? So there are links underneath my video for uh, my normal pouring medium I would do in my acrylic, acrylic art and there are links to purchase uh, all the items that I use. There are links there. And if you could remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, I don't see any... Um, payment it's totally free but if you could subscribe that would help me a little bit so thank you okay that maybe could be doing with being thinner because it's not really moving anywhere so I might just do a line through the center because I'm going to swipe this remember oh okay so I'll try with the pink blush I'm not sure whether to yeah, just do it. It's one little teeny tiny. Uh, the orange flush. Start from that side. Very thin line. The red flush. The blue flush, or as lilac was, I think it was. Yeah, let's go the whole hog and put the green in. Yeah, they look like very shimmery, shiny paint, so hopefully you do get real nice um, shimmery effect from the swipe. Not sure whether to put this up here and swipe down maybe we'll try this was the black one but it looks very much like gunmetal I might put some of the white with the flow troll over the top there and there and give it a little swipe with a little mini a mini piece of soft plastic file divider um, just give it a go hey or maybe I'll give it a little bit of heat might activate something remember it's got no um, silicone in it let's give this a go um, just gonna swipe this down wipe off your little swipey tool in between maybe it would look nicer having smaller pieces swiped instead of one it's coming lacy that's for sure but that would be the flow troll so I guess it would kind of be good to do the bloom technique with it because it's got lots of lacing and I'm guessing that the colours will uh, go really vibrant because as I said the Floetrol dulls down, has dulled down the colours but Floetrol dries clear so I guess those colours will come back up 
but the truth will be in the um, the drying of it I'm not sure what has happened to my straws I've got straws and I'm just gonna check with my son and see if he's pinched them but I'm going to just blow this top half and see if it makes any difference whatsoever Don't know where the colour is there. It's a bit crazy. Let's give it a bit of heat, see what happens. can see that you get the total bloom thing happening there um, this is just very much the very delicate lacing so what I might do is you can see that really um, delicate lacing sort of like the bloomy the bloomy effect I'm gonna do just one like how you would do a bloom with remember this is just paint and flow troll and I will try like just the kind of how you would do the bloom effect that um, is around at the present time oops just do the three colours with definitely doesn't look like a true black it looks a real gun metal with the glitter sort of glittery in it looks very pretty let's just try a bit of this white on top let's give it the blue falling back in oh yeah it's got some nice lacing I think the pillar paint needed to be different than this um, one, maybe. But yeah, it's... Well, there you go. So, I'm going to leave it to dry and we'll see what it comes out like. I will do a... Another test on it to see. Maybe I'll do the flip cup see how that comes out maybe I should just move that aside and do the flip cup quickly or should I just try and it's, just, well, it's probably long enough for one video isn't it guys I will give you some close-ups on that because it looks really nice like it's really lacing beautifully I just want to give it another try doing some blows along the flower line so color shift paints color shift let's just put some of that back on it without the um, not adding the um, the white Okay, that didn't. Oh, it is. Little cells are coming up now. Try one over here. The red, red flush. 
go the orange in with it, give it that sort of sunsetty, bloomy look. Yeah, that hasn't gone like this one that I added the white uh, Mont Mark paint with Floetrol. That's that's um, gone into lovely sort of cells, um, but that one hasn't. So there you go. So this does make a difference to the overall effect. So let's see if I can, what it's a blow with my heat tool. It's not meant as a blower, but when you get really close to it, it does blow. Woohoo! Oh my goodness! Well, there you go. Darn gone it. I'll give you some close ups of this in a little minute. I'm going to go back over this one. Never thought to use my heat um, wand, my wonder wand for the blow. Because as I said, it doesn't blow the paint really unless you get real close to it. So, there you go. Uh, put a bit of the pink, that's gorgeous. And I think if I used a different paint for the undercoat, then maybe it, I could stretch them out a bit. I don't know, I will try to keep this experimental with you. So that's the white. And let's use my Wonder Wand. Okay. I think I'll push that too far, too close, because that's kind of looks a bit cracky. But this, wow, they look pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see if I split them up this way, and then I'll try and stretch them out. But yeah, it will be interesting to see how this particular paint dries. If it does dry, that the colours are sheeny, shiny. So. If you've had a go with this paint, the colour shift, let me know if you know any tricks to it. Yeah, I haven't really got a lot of paint on the base, so but that's gorgeous. Look at that. I'll get you some close-ups and the close-ups will be on the end of this video. Let's see if I can make something. See, I can't leave it alone now. I'm playing experimental mode. Oops. The days. Love that um, red and the pink and orange together. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Red, pink, orange. Let's try this again. Uh, put that black. Black, you won't go back. Okay, I'm looking forward to my weekend. We have our, some of our adult children, which we normally do on a weekend. One or the other will show their face here. So I've got the girls this weekend, I think. So that will be fun. Okay, give this... Oh, going a bit gonna be a wall on that one okay for whatever oh it is sell, selling up slowly but that is absolutely gorgeous that's gorgeous lacing on this very pretty so wonder what will happen let me take a photograph of that first <laughs> before i tilt it then because i might tilt it all off so okay i just brought you up a little bit closer so you can see this gorgeous <laughs> a gorgeous bloom effect without all the um all the different ingredients that's gorgeous and obviously if I spent a little bit more time perfecting it, it's just so easy with these 
lovely color shift paints they look gorgeous 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 color shift paints in there so we'll see what it all dries like and maybe if somebody can give me a heads up with if anybody knows anything about the dragon fly glaze is this a glaze that just goes on is it a color that i can use in my colors maybe i should have put the dragonfly glaze in the colors i'm not sure but that'll be another test so i might just see if i can get these to stretch but i think because i haven't got stretchy paint underneath they won't it's not really moving and I don't want to um, disturb that because I really want to do the test the experiment to see how it dries if that you know the colors are shimmery 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 so shiver me timbers so I'll leave it at that for you guys you let me know what you think about that but that was fun uh, another art lab experiment with those yeah it's, oops gorgeous yeah they're gorgeous at the moment so i know that with a bit of um, refining and playing around with it um very lovely very lovely okay bye for now guys until next time thanks for joining me